Hey everyone, welcome to this edition of Life Lessons from the Movies. Most Radical Man Ever here to bring you Life Lessons and a movie review on Thick as Thieves 2009. Um, this movie was excellently cast. All the, the actors work beautifully together in a, an orchestra for your entertainment. Antonio Banderas um, is one of the stars in this film. He's always fun to watch. Morgan Freeman, always fun to watch. I mean, Shawshank Redemption, need I say more? I'm always interested in any film that he's in. Uh, Radha Mitchell is in this film. She has quite a large part than, uh, uh, than a lot of the other movies I've seen her in. When I think of her, I think of Man on Fire. You've probably even heard me mention that before. That's an awesome, violent, but good film. Uh, there's a couple other guys. Robert Forster, he has quite a, quite a big part in this film. And uh, it was actually neat to see him unleashed as a cop. You know, he actually does a great job. He plays the cop part to a T. There is Rade Sarbadigidia. <laughs> I can't pronounce his name, but you'll know who I'm talking about if you see the film. He usually plays like a Russian guy, and um, he does in this film. He plays a, a, a Russian. Now, this film somewhat has the feel of Ocean's Eleven. I mean, there's, it's a high-tech caper that they're trying to pull off. There's high-tech equipment, and um, you, you root for the bad guys. I mean, just like you did in Ocean's Eleven. I mean, these guys are thieves, but they're, you know, there's that deep, dark side of us that's pulling for them. Now, the plot basically is a veteran thief, uh, Morgan Freeman. He's recruiting uh, Antonio Banderas, and they're going to rob Romanoff's jewelers for uh, $40 million worth of Fabergé eggs. Anyway, that's, that's basically how the plot works. Now, the life lesson, the first one that I picked up in this film, is never assume anything. Uh, this movie, in several instances, actually portrays the fact that, you know, in our walk of life, we should never make assumptions where it would possibly cost us something. Uh, con men, especially, will make something seem obvious for you to make a false assumption and, and slip up and eat the apple, kind of like Satan, you know, made Eve make a false assumption or whatever and uh, she got her and her husband to eat the apple. If there's something at stake, even though it appears to be obvious and you have something to lose, it's a good idea to follow the advice of Ronald Reagan. Trust, but verify. Another life lesson here is justice can be bought. Um, unfortunately, no matter what the intentions are of the people that get into the powerful decisions of deciding one's fate, there's someone in the whole deck of cards, the house of cards called justice, that can be bought. And whether it be a judge, um, a, a juror, a district attorney, or even your attorney, um, justice can be manipulated by cash. Wisdom is power. Wisdom and knowledge are two different things. Knowledge basically is the uh, acquiring of information. Wisdom is the ability to use that information. Now, whoever has the most wisdom or the ability to, to uh, manipulate information usually wins in any, in any instance. And you'll notice that there are several people that have information in this film. Romanoffs, the cops, and the thieves. And whoever can use, uh, manipulate that information the best is the one that usually wins. So this movie kind of portrays that wisdom is power. Also, uh, nothing ever seems to go according to plan. Uh, one of the characters in this film actually mentions that, of course. But uh, whenever I do anything in life, you've always heard of Murphy's Law. Well, that bears out in this film. There's plans made. Things don't go exactly the way they're supposed to. And I think we should add that into our calculations. You know, if you're ever doing your budget, like how much money do I spend every month on these, these amount of items, you know, you should add a 20% in there because you know you're full of it. <laughs> or something always comes up. Life happens. And sometimes Murphy has a twin brother, man. But anyway, the lesson that this film uh, teaches is nothing ever goes according to plan. Now, as far as the rating of this film, I really like this movie a lot. The actors played brilliantly off of each other. The plot moves right along. The storyline is great. You're never bored. I really like the musical score in this film. I'm not going to buy the CD. That's not what I mean. But it matches the movie perfectly. I, I, 
I thought that was excellent. So I, I don't know who it was that was in charge of that, but they did an excellent job. There is a sex scene. I'm a little sad to say that because this film didn't need it. <laughs> this film didn't need it. It's that good. It didn't need the, the uh, sex scene to sell more tickets. Uh, a little bit of minor violence. I can't believe I'm saying violence is ever minor. But, I mean, in comparing it to Scarface, uh, uh, Reservoir Dogs, and Man on Fire, stuff like this, this is kind of kind of minimal violence. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and give it an A-. Uh, till we meet again, dig deeper, go higher.